What's going on YouTube? It's your boy George Hurst and today me and my friend Riley went out to Brandywine Falls and we shot at 6.30 a.m. It sucked and she was late so I could have slept it a little bit longer but it was super fun. We went down off a little bit off trail, uh, a little bit more than off trail. She dies in the easiest part. What? I said she dies in the easiest part. I'm gonna like start rolling down this hill. <laughs> You got it, I believe in you. I'll help you get up. It's fine, don't worry about it. I'll trail. So you'll see him in the picture, it's kind of a little bit of theme, but it looked cool with her outfit and the waterfall, so I think that was cool. Uh, but we had a good time, a lot of laughs, she got cold, but it was fun overall. are ever shooting in a uh, water scene where there's like a waterfall or pool or something like that I recommend picking up one of these if you don't know what it is it's a polarizer filter and by doing this back and forth you can either let in as much glare as you want or as little glare as you want when you're shooting through windows or glass or anything like that but it's also known for deepening and darkening the blues in all your images if you want to know what what like the secret sauce in most people's uh, photos are it's a polarizer it's like I guess cinnamon for photographers like you know how like everybody's like oh dang what's the secret ingredient in that sauce and you're just like cinnamon like this is cinnamon for photographers no joke get one pick it up it's about fifty dollars uh i can leave you the link in the description for this one i think it, i think it ran me about 50 bucks but this is a cinnamon for photographers so get one I think the easiest way to do it is to like lay down. Yes, mommy. Yes. All right, guys. It's a day later. I'm sorry about that. I'm a photographer and videographer and barely a videographer at that. So editing this video and editing photos, it's, it's a tough balance, but you know, I'm doing it, whatever. Uh, that's besides the point. Uh, the first photo I'm about to show you guys, I really like it because the whole photo is kind of like soft lit, and that's because we shot at 7 a.m., so the sun was out, but it wasn't casting any type of shadows for anybody or like any harsh light, so it was very even lit, but there's still some dark parts of the image that give her shape, so I really like this image a lot because of that fact. Uh, the next image I'm about to show you guys, I actually kind of like it because at the beginning of her getting into this position and trying to get her clothes and everything situated for the shoot, uh, it was just kind of entertaining and then after that we went from really like happy vibes to like this photo being kind of moody and uh, same as the first photo, there's a lot of soft light but there's more dark, darker shadows in this image so I really like this image a lot because of that. And the last image, which I'm about to show you guys right now, I thought was super cool once I uploaded it to my cam- um, upload- I can't upload video to your camera, uh, upload the video to my, uh, laptop. I thought this image was really cool because, uh, 
after looking at it and framing it after cropping because some people use the crop tool just to like upload to Instagram but I use it to frame my subject as well as you know upload it to Instagram so I crop it to how I want it then I crop it to Instagram so there's like a three-step process to that uh, but I like this because uh, if you look at her head and you look at the waterfall, it kind of makes a triangle at the top of her face so that it like, directs all the focus towards the center of the frame. And then I also just like how, with that being said, the framing of her back is uh, guided by the waterfall and there's like a curvature going up to her face. So it was just an all around good shoot. Uh, but I'm really happy with this last photo, so this photo is probably one you're going to see on Instagram. I can't really decide yet be between this one and the first one. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below which one you thought was cool, one, two, or three. And I definitely appreciate it, but that's really all I got for you guys. If you want some tips and tricks on how to shoot, let me know in the comments down below. But please make sure to like and give this uh, video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Either way, it helps the channel. <laughs> and also subscribe, but more importantly, turn on that notification ring your boy will start to post every week so i'll see you guys and until then peace